open. Jason, I see you spend no time moving from one thing to the next, do you? Please, not today, Jason. Don't start. I've got enough stuff going on without you being a spoiled little brat about everything. Yeah, right, sure. Look, I've got a meeting in an hour, so make it quick. I've got a whole load of Pontiac academics sitting around waiting for me. Don't know why I bother sometimes. Sit around nodding, saying the same thing again. Oh, in my opinion, Dr. Marston. <sighs> Waste yeah. of time. You know, you spend your whole life writing theories, and then you've got to sit and explain it to a load of know-it-alls. Don't know what I did to deserve this. Do you have a reason for coming here today, Jason? Do I need a reason to come and see you? <laughs> when I work seven days a week, four weeks a month, twelve months a year, I'd say, yes, you, you sort of do. Well, I'm sorry I'm such an inconvenience to your life, Dad. Did I say that, Jason? Look, you've got to understand, I can't just keep dropping everything I'm doing to come and deal with what's going on in your life. All right, well, well listen, anyway, I just came by to say that... You need money? Is that it? Not dropping out of school, are you? You should have a job by now. I had a job by your age, you know. I had two jobs by your age, actually. Not be caught smoking again, have you? No. Christ, why is this my problem? Got enough shit of my own going on. Got clients ringing me every five minutes, got my boss Dad. breathing down my neck. It's not your mother. Dad! Oh, Dad! Woman, I swear, I've given her enough money already for her to be going bent over and fucked in some random club. I swear she's a waste for of space. For one fucking moment, will you just stop and listen? She's fucking dead! <sighs> Karen, this... this is... It's what? It's as much your responsibility as it is mine. Don't think about turning your back on me now. Shut up. Shut up for a minute. I need to think. About what? You're going to be a father. What more do you need to think about? <laughs> this is quite a lot for me to take on, you know. You can't just lay this on somebody like that. I'm not getting rid of it. No fucking way. Did I say that? Stop jumping down my throat for a minute. It can't just be as clear-cut a choice as that. It is. It is just as simple as that. I'm not jumping to murder as a conclusion. It's not murder. Not really. Look, think about this. I work for minimum wage. You, you don't work at all. We are not ready for this kind of decision. Yet here we are. Stop talking like that for a second, okay? We have the whole of our lives ahead of us. We can't decide now that this is how it's going to be forever. I know this isn't what we expected, but we can do this. You, me, we, we got this. Think of everything we can give him. We don't have anything to give him. What can we teach them? What do we know? By the time they're 17, I'll be pushing 40. So will you. We can't just run away from this. We can give him a chance to be a family. Wouldn't that make you happy? I'm, I'm not saying it wouldn't, but no, I, I refuse to fuck up a kid's life because I'm not ready for it. If we go through with this now, they'll end up like us. No, he won't end up just like us. Don't be a fucking coward like you. Karen, you need to think very, very carefully about this. We, we are just, we, we don't have the money. We, we're not ready. In five years, ten perhaps. But now, seriously, think about it. I have thought about it. I'm keeping it.
What if I don't want to? Huh? You are who you are. There's no point fighting yourself about it. Jason! Piece of work, you know that, right? <coughs> yeah, I get that quite a lot, actually. H how did she die? She died in her sleep. She died last week. I see. When's the funeral? It was today. Oh. Yeah. Jason. Save it! That's what you came in to tell me. Yeah? What? No, I, I don't know, maybe. Fuck! I've been standing outside your house for the past half an hour, wondering whether the fuck to come here. Considering, I wish I hadn't. I wish I could have been there. Oh no, can we just not say things that we don't mean? For once, I want a moment with you that isn't forced, that isn't planned, or one that you're obligated to. Sure, we go. Uh... Yeah, we can, we can do that. No, just, just for one moment, will you, will you grow up and be a dad? I'm still your dad, Jason. Yeah, I, I know, but your mother and I, we never worked. She always wanted a family. She, all... she always wanted me. Well, if we're being perfectly honest with each other, yes. I was 17 at the time, and I just wasn't ready. Been offered a chance to go to university. A chance at life. Sure. Didn't see a reason to throw that all away at such a young age. But your mother... Well, you were her life. You were... All she ever wanted. You know... I thought I knew all along, but... I think I only realise now, now that she's gone. Fuck. She's been dying a long time, you know. And I just wanted to go and see her. I just wanted to tell her. And she was... She was... What was it you wanted to tell her? I'm going to be a father, an actual father, <laughs> and I just wanted her there, you know, I just wanted to go up to her, tell her what was going on, and for her to say that it's okay, and now I can't.